Hi, my name is Annabelle, and in this video I'll show you how to create a lane with a specification to a road step. This specification includes parking stops. For each parking stop, you can define security features, which also impact the lane assessment security measures. Border crossings. Border crossings can be added to the document borders, where the truck is expected to be stopped or parked, for example, for customs clearance. And ferry crossings. Ferry crossings can be documented with the indication of the ferry operator and ferry terminals. Currently, these ferry crossings do not impact the lane assessment. If you also want to create a lane using an air freight step, please watch your video about the air lane assessment. We start by clicking on Create Lane, where we enter the lane name and provide some details, such as the book temperature and the packaging type. When we click Create, we are redirected to the lane configuration screen to further define the lane. First, you notice the various configuration items at the top. We may, for example, add general information, further specify the product category, and indicate the packaging manufacturer. After defining this general information, we can define the transport process. Let's start with a pickup point at the origin of the lane. And let's assume we ship from a site of Novartis in Basel. We simply add Novartis and Validate will use Google to search for the address details. Next, we add a road step for the pickup point where we need to supply the road transport supplier. And let's assume we use the company VTS as a travel company. And let's say the duration is 60 minutes to the airport with a temperature controlled truck. Now we can add parking stops border crossings, and ferry crossings. Let's start with adding a parking stop. It is not yet available in Validate to define a specific parking area, so stay tuned for that. When adding a non-specific parking area, which means the exact location of the parking spot is not known, but it is known that there will be a parking stop during this step, it is useful to select the minimum capabilities of the parking spot. This has an impact on the security assessment of this lane. We can also add a border crossing during this road step. Let's say we've crossed the border between Switzerland and France. And let's say this border crossing takes 60 minutes. Furthermore, we can also add a final ferry crossing. Let's say Validate is the ferry operator. And let's say we have a ferry crossing between France and the UK. Now our link configuration is complete. At a later stage, you can add an approval workflow and share the lane with other parties, such as the shipper and the carriers. In Validate, the external parties can also jointly approve the lane with their digital signatures. We'll show this in a separate video. So, let's quickly look at the outputs. First, the lane overview, where we see a summary of our new lane. A more detailed time plan is shown in this screen. And Validate also creates a predicted ambient temperature graph based on the climate data in January and July. These graphs are considering average weather conditions. Finally, the lane assessments, which include an evaluation of five different factors. Ambient temperature exposure, temperature protection from packaging, quality management, security, and the duration and complexity of the lane. More information about this assessment can be found in our help center where you can also find more information about other details regarding the lane assessment. Good luck and please contact us for further information.